Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Qadaybiya Palace. The cabinet commended His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's visit to the Royal Bahrain Air Force to commemorate the Bahrain Defense Force's 54th anniversary celebrations. In this regard, the cabinet noted His Majesty's commitment to supporting the BDF's ongoing development by providing its units with the latest technology and equipment. The cabinet stressed the importance of consolidating responsibility and accountability to protect public funds. In this regard, the Cabinet directed all agencies to cooperate with the National Audit Office. The Cabinet discussed and approved several memorandums during the meeting. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding draft MOUs and executive programs between Bahrain and Oman aimed at supporting bilateral cooperation across various fields. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on draft MOUs between Bahrain and the U.S. related to enhancing cooperation between the two countries. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to five proposals and two law proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives and a law proposal submitted by the Shura Council. The Cabinet also reviewed the following topics, a memorandum on the electronic transformation of the service of issuing and renewing licenses for real estate professionals at the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, which will contribute to providing a 24-hour service. The Cabinet also took note of the report by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism regarding participation in the 16th Arab International Conference on Mineral Resources. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and chairman of the board of directors of the oil and gas holding company Noga Holding, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza following his appointment as advisor to the board of directors of Noga Holding. His Highness Sheikh Nasser commended the experience acquired by Dr. Mirza throughout his long service in the government field, stressing that his new post will support the efforts of Noga Holdings Board of Directors to develop the company. Dr. Mirza expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for appointing him for the position, affirming that he will spare no effort to implement the mission and strategy of the company and harness his experience to enhance the oil and gas sector. He commended the tremendous efforts exerted by His Highness Sheikh Nasser to develop the oil and gas sector in the kingdom and launch pioneer initiatives in this regard, pledging that he will support the further strategies of Noga Holdings Board of Directors. The Bahrain Defense Force Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa presented the Order of Bahrain of the First and Second Class conferred by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on a number of senior BDF officers on the occasion of the 54th anniversary of its establishment in the presence of BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Thayyib bin Sagar Al Naimi. The BDF Commander-in-Chief delivered the following speech on this occasion. The يسعدني أن أنقل لكم تحيات سيدي صاحب الجلالة وتهانيه على الأوسمة بمناسبة احتفالات قوة الدفاع السنوية مثل ما تعرفون قوة الدفاع دابت على هذا التكريم كل سنة دائما يكرمون الضباط المميزين والمستحقين للأوسمة بتطبيق مبدأ دائما الثواب دائما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى الضابط اللي يقوم بعمله بشكل جيد وتكون نتائجه ولله الحمد جيدة يكون دائما من المميزين بالتكريم وإن شاء الله هذه المناسبة دائما تكرر وياكم على خير الله سبحانه وتعالى من علينا الحمد لله بهذا الاستقرار 
وباعمالكم الطيبه بالمحافظه على الامن الامن والسلم الوطني وجاهزيتكم في قوه الدفاع ادت الى هذا المستوى اللي وصلنا له اليوم لنا اخوان طبعا الان منفتحين على جبهات القتال ندعو من الله ان شاء الله لهم التوفيق والسلامه والامان والرجوع الى ابنائهم واهلهم وهذا اللي دائما احنا نتذكرهم وايضا بعد نقرا اليوم الفاتحه على شهدائنا الابرار الله يرحمهم بهذه المناسبه هذه السنه ال 54 ولله الحمد في تاسيس قوات الدفاع اليوم انتهت على خير ولله الحمد السنين القادمه ان شاء الله ستكون بعد ان شاء الله سنين ترفع جاهزيه قوات الدفاع في في مجالات كثيره واللي انتم ان شاء الله بتشوفونه بعد في هالسنين القليل الجاي ان شاء الله سنتين او الاقل في نقلات نوعيه ان شاء الله بتصير وبعضها صار الان كتوقيع ترفع ان شاء الله من مستوانا نتمنى لكم ان شاء الله التوفيق ونراكم دائما وانتم بخير وان شاء الله وطيبين نقل تحياتي للضباط والافراد اللي وياكم تقديري لعملهم اللي يقومون فيه كل يوم ان شاء الله دائما نلتقي وياكم على الخير والبركه ان شاء الله The commander in chief praised the efforts of the BDF members noting their sacrifices to maintain the safety and stability of the country and their dedication to protect its gains and capabilities. Present were Defense Affairs Ministry Under Secretary Major General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and a number of BDF senior officers. The Representative's Council Speaker received, re speaker received in her Office Director for Member Parliaments and External Relations at the Inter-Parliamentary Union, IPU, and uh, Philip Zainal stressed the Kingdom's status as a major host of regional and international events, which reflects the comprehensive growth witnessed by Bahrain during the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. She commended the cooperation between the legislative and executive branches, affirming the support of His Royal Highness, Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Both sides discussed means of promoting parliamentary relations between the Representatives Council and IPU. They also reviewed Bahrain's preparations to host the 146th session of IPU. And the Philip praised Bahrain's progress in various fields describing the kingdom as a model to emulate the religious tolerance, peaceful coexistence, women empowerment and protection of human rights. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, praised Bahrain's achievements in the human rights field under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He stressed the kingdom's strides in protecting human rights and guaranteeing the principle of accountability within the framework of promoting sovereignty of the law. Marking the 10th anniversary of the establishment of the Special Investigation Unit, SIU, he praised the unit's role as a national entity concerned with the protection of human rights. He added the unit also reflects development of the criminal justice system in Bahrain. Sheikh Khalid hailed the conference organized by SIU on the active role of the national institutions and mechanisms in protecting human rights. The conference is being held under the patronage of Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl al Bainain in cooperation with the United Nations Development Program and the Institute of Judicial and Legal Studies. The minister underscored the importance of the conference, which sheds lights on the national efforts to promote human rights, development of legislation, and its concordance with the international standards and agreements. The Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hmaidan, affirmed that the number of recipients who benefited from the insurance against unemployment topped 31,099 in 2021. He pointed out that the unemployment benefit has not been discontinued for any beneficiary who meets the eligibility conditions in accordance with the unemployment insurance law. He added that the amendments that were made to the unemployment insurance law, promulgated by law number 78, aim to keep pace with the economic requirements of Bahraini job seekers. Hamedan also added that, do, that a new clause was added to the unemployment insurance law to disperse financial support to sectors affected by the pandemic as controls were established stipulating entitlement to financial support to pay the wages of Bahraini workers in these facilities, which contributed to their protection and job stability in 12 sectors.
Information, Information Minister Ali Al Rumehi has mourned former director of Bahrain Radio, Abdurrahman Abdullah Al Rai, who passed away after a rich professional march in the media field. The minister paid homage to Al Rai, recalling his good qualities and services to the nation and praying to Allah Almighty to bless him with mercy, rest his soul in vast paradise, and provide his family with patience and fortitude. Al Rai joined Bahrain Radio in 1954 and contributed in collaboration with late Ibrahim. Khanu to the launch of Bahrain Radio from the moment he assumed his duties. He took up many posts until a decision was issued on September 24, 1990, appointing him director of Bahrain Radio. An array of development projects was carried out then, which contributed to promoting Bahrain Radio at the local Gulf and Arab levels, and he retired in 2001. He was known for his distinction and creativity in presenting topics and radio programs. He also showed a keen desire to use his knowledge and experience to build and train a Bahraini generation capable of conveying Bahrain's voice to the world. May his, role, may his soul rest in peace. The Special Envoy for Climate Affairs and Vice President of the UN Environment Assembly, UNEA, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak bin Dana, participated in the virtual meeting of the UNEA under the slogan, Strengthening Actions for Nature to Achieve Sustainable Development Goals. In his speech, bin Dana affirmed that the environmental file is considered one of the most important priorities for development and a cornerstone in the process of modern development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, with its implementation supervised by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and followed closely by the personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, SCE, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Special Envoy noted that the SCE has worked intensively over the past years to develop environmental laws and legislative rules to be more effective and compre comprehensive and in line with the Sustainable Development goals and the economic vision of Bahrain. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain is closely following the situation of Bahraini citizens present in Ukraine amid the current security conditions. With regard to the statement issued by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs on February 12, 2022, urging Bahraini citizens to leave Ukraine, the ministry stresses Bahrain's keenness to facilitate the necessary procedures for the safe evacuation of its citizens through the available ports as soon as may be. The ministry calls upon the citizens wishing to leave the country or for any assistance to contact the following number.